Hello, thank you for joining me on this Positive Thursday, the Funny Side of Life, episode 27, Sticking to Your Life Purpose. That is going to be the today's Positive Thursday topic, everyone. doing on this positive thursday i hope your day is going good how the weather where you're at wow time is flying by so fast and i know that many of you have been finding it very hard to stay positive and even more so when you have a goal or a passion you want to pursue in life like writing maybe or doing motivational speaking helping others i know that if someone that's passionate and driven about uh, about their life pur- purpose it can be very challenging and hard even more so when you don't have people supporting you that understand your life purpose but in reality it's it's all up to each one of us to be our number one support in everything in life we want to pursue, whether it's a, in our journey. You may have some people that will try to take you off your life pur- purchase. Excuse me. You might have some, like, during your process, everyone, let me tell you this. During, like, when you're trying to pursue any passion or goal you're trying to do, you might have some people that try to take you off your life, your tra- take you off track. And what I mean by that, you might have people might come along your way and present opportunities for you that might not, might not fit for you, that'll take the focus on what you're really supposed to do. So, I mean, and I had that happen to me many times before. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with doing other opportunities, but you got to be for sure if that opportunity fit for you and what is the motives behind it. That's all I want to say, everyone. I remember when I first started uh, pursuing my passion, which is one of them is doing this podcast and sharing motivational um, discussions, uplifting motivational discussions, inspiring people from all around the world. It's been almost about, I say about almost two years since I've been doing this podcast on Anchor, and I love it so much. I can do this every day and all day. There was many times I wanted to give up, especially like when I didn't see people, many, especially when I didn't have many followers. And um, and then I had fear and doubt, like wondering, you know, I was doubting myself and wondering, like, okay, can I do this? But you know, God had gave me the strength to push, to keep pushing. It was just something inside of me just wouldn't want to give up, you know. And God, you know, pushed me and said, you know what, Zuri, keep doing what you're doing because what you're doing is going to pursue, is going to produce something good. And you know, and it takes time. You know, it takes about. Three to five years to max for someone to build a brand. Sometimes less for others and sometimes more. And patience, it does pays off. So that's why I'm not worried about, you know, who following, who not, because all that's going to come along. I have a story I want to share with each one of you about the founder of Disney World that can help each one of you to stay motivated and stick to your life purpose, everyone. Give me one second. Let's see. Pull this story up plans um this weekend i know that a lot of um you know places are still closed down you know but um do any of y'all have any plans i know mother's day is on sunday so for you you for the so for you mothers who are mothers happy early mother's day i hope y'all have a beautiful mother's day you know mothers we you know we multitask we do a little bit of everything so shout out to all the mothers who's tuning in today on this positive thursday Okay, I found the article, everyone. It says, Walt, didn't, Walt Disney is known as a extraordinary successful creator who visions as an animated filmmaker and theme park developer change entertainment in the 20th century and beyond yet, dig a little bit deeper. If you dig a little bit deeper into Disney's background and you, you discover that his road to success was paved by unhappy childhood along with countless business failures. His first cartoon business went bankrupt. When he returns later, when they lost everything in their first business, uh, business, Disney packed his bag with just only forty dollars in his pocket. He drove to Los Angeles to try to um, try out his hand in acting, but it fell at that. He fell at that, and still there was a silver leaning to his move, noticing that. There weren't any animation studios in California. Disney convinced Roy to join him out west so they can set up shop. Roy is his brother. Not long ago after Disney found his first major success with the creation of 
Oswine, the lucky rabbit. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right, everyone. <laughs> Disney character Oswine was plenty of good luck, becoming a huge star in one rare animation. But Disney himself would find his luck and he ran out, traveling to New York to re re renegotiate his contract. He discovered that his producer had taken his team of animators from under him and that he no longer had any legal rights to Oswald, the lucky rabbit. But instead of fighting the loss of plot in his... To listen to this full episode of Positive Thursday, episode 27, Sticking to Your Life Purpose, check out Zoe Flower at anchorfm.com.